Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 30, Knowledge Base Overview. The Knowledge Base functionality exists in most of the out-of-the-box portals, including the Employee and Customer Self-Service portals, the Community portal, and the Partner portal. The Knowledge Base exposes the Knowledge Article entity available in Dynamics 365. It's important to note that this is different than the legacy knowledge base articles and the knowledge base associated with Parature. There are two primary ways to access the knowledge base functionality on a portal. The first is via search, including the site-wide search available in the header, the search available on the support homepage, or the case deflection functionality. The other way to access articles is by browsing through the knowledge base, by visiting the knowledge base page, or by viewing articles displayed on some of the home pages of the out-of-the-box portals, like customer and employee self-service. On the knowledge base page, articles are grouped by category. And on the home pages, you can see articles based on popularity, rating, or the most recent ones. When viewing the details of a knowledge article, users can see the main article content, and you can enable the ability for users to rate the article. You can also display any attached files within the notes on a knowledge article by creating a site setting named knowledge management forward slash display notes with a value of true. Access to knowledge articles on the portal can be controlled using content access levels. Out of the box, three content access levels are defined, default, registered users, and premium users. Custom content access levels can also be created. When a new knowledge article is created, it is associated with the default content access level. The article author then has the option to remove or add content access levels. Content access levels can be associated with accounts, contacts, or web roles. The currently logged in contact can have content access levels directly related to it, plus it inherits all the content access levels associated with its parent account, parent contact, and any web roles it is associated to. For this functionality to work, you'll need to set the knowledge management forward slash content access level forward slash enabled site setting to true. As the knowledge base functionality is built primarily within the website code, the customization options are limited. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 portals tip number 30 from Engineered Code on the knowledge base functionality, useful.